How's it going guys? I'm Callan with the Hookup Tackle and today we're targeting brown trout on top water in some skinny water. Really about as fun as it gets when you're targeting these little brown trout. What I really love about creek fishing is it's not just you're pulling up to the lake and casting around, you're really hunting down the fish, which is so cool and unique, I think. You've been chasing the fish all morning, hiking around, and hoping for it to come together. And when it does, there's just really nothing better than that. So we got a box full of topwaters, a juicy looking spot. We're gonna hit the creek here. You guys can come tag along. Let's see if we can get on a few topwater browns. So up here is really the kind of water I'm looking for when I'm on a small creek like this. It's got a decent amount of depth to it, lots of big rocks and sticks in there, and some good moving water flowing through it. So it should be a pretty productive little hole for some trout. Oh, oh my god. Dude, that thing like had to eat it, didn't it? Bait one under. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow, dude, crazy colors on this. That's a good one for you. Yes, dude. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That is so sweet. Wow, dude, this is a gnarly looking little brown. Dude, that's a, one of the sicker browns I've caught, color-wise. So right here, we got a whole bunch of the new Mega Bass Nano Siglet. It's a really cool bait, it's pretty versatile. I mean, you can flip it right in the current and just let it drift, or you can kind of keep your line tight and pop it and give it a little bit of action, just enough to make it look like a bug on the surface, how they would look with their wings kicking. And we're throwing that on the Mega Bass P5 Kurosame. We got a 2000 size Kage on there and 15 pound D-braid to an eight pound leader. In the tip section, as you can see here, gets really small diameter, which gives it a really unique action the way it's able to bend. And it's just perfect for these trout where you want a nice soft tip so you're not pulling hooks. And with these smaller fish, you don't want an overpowering rod that's just jacking them out of the water. You wanna actually be able to get a little bit of a fight. I like to have a couple different small boxes it makes it really organized and easy to find what you're looking for. Something that's been awesome for this style of fishing has been these Ryugi boxes. And it's just perfect. You can just really section out different things. Like in here, we got spinners, spoons, little metal jigs. Here we have all the top waters down here. We got some terminal up here, along with a couple more top waters. And here we just have all the minnow style baits you'd be fishing. And it just makes it super organized. It's always easy to find what you need. How they're nice and sectioned off. It's like perfect size little sections, what I love. So when I get these, they come with little dividers in each of these. I just pull all of them out because it allows me to fit more baits in here. And yeah, it's perfect. Keeps everything super organized and easy to get to. I really love big open compartment bags because you can kind of load it and stack it up how you want your bag to be loaded. With me here today, I have the Sims pack and it's really the perfect bag for what I'm doing. As you can see here, it's just big massive open compartment, top bag, it's like a dry bag style. And then another awesome feature on this is this bungee cord here is perfect for holding the net. I just stuff it right in here like that 
and it makes it easy to get to when I'm hooked up to a fish. I don't have to worry about unclipping it or it being caught on something. I just pull it straight out, I'm good to go. So that makes it really efficient. And then also, nice little zipper pocket up here. Great for keeping leader line and stuff like that that you'd want to be able to get to easily. Little line cutter is handy, makes it easy. Just have it clipped right on there. Never have to worry about finding them. But yeah, that's the loadout for the creek today. Ooh. Oh my goodness, you got that. Let me grab that. Nice. Gorgeous fish. As you can see, just got on that Smith puppet there. Just beautiful, vibrant red dots on this fish. White on the bottom of the fins there. Oh, weaseling his way out of the net. Let him go here. Right under that rock, still sitting there. Look at that. Oop, there he goes, sick little fish. Better one. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Dude, that's a tank for you. Oh my god, dude. Yes. Dude, this has some of the craziest colors I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, dude, look at the spots on that. Nice little male. Wow, dude, I wanna get a picture of this thing. And all sorts are wrapped up in the line. That Smith puppet. Wow, the white on the fin. All right, guys, heading out here now. We just got our last fish of the trip. Also our best one, gorgeous brown. Just look at the spots on that thing. Storm's rolling in means me and CJ are heading out. We've got our last fish of the trip here. We're gonna go ahead and let this gorgeous fish go. Look at that, sitting in the current right there. Gone. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Me and CJ had a blast coming out here. Nothing like catching some trout on top water. Had a super productive day. Was that new mega bass, Nano Siglet, absolutely killed him for us. And then to end it off, that Smith Puppet caught our best fish of the day. Really couldn't ask for more. I hope you guys enjoyed and tune in next time.